fish. This is a good one. I'm going to put something big and ugly on. So both Adrian and I have been interested in this lure. So this is, this is great wet feet. So this is literally a grub. So never used this lure before. Oh. But they look bloody amazing, these things do. So we skin it a little bit, so it's like that. So with regards to the gear I'm using, so I'm, I'm still using my 4000 XG Shimano Stratocatel and my Sakura Species. I think I've talked to you about this before. It says it's rated to 60 grams, but it's not rated, it's not 60 grams at all. 40 perhaps, 45 maybe. We do have a bit of a swell going on today, which is interesting. One of the things I don't like is fishing for wrasse in a swell, obviously as they are more of a rock-based um, fish, opposed to something like bass that won't be. Um, if there's a big swell going about and they're in amongst the rocks, they're going to get bashed about. So they might well be off the area, so hence longer casts today. which for me, that's a longer cast. Normally my cast is just pitching 10, 20 foot. Things in water that is a bit coloured like this is, I like to use a darker lure, something that's going to give a better silhouette. So I changed to this lure because it's quite dark, it's got a good ribbon-like tail, so it should give plenty of movement, it should be nice and visible. Go big or go home. This is a five inch bait now. So this is a five inch cane thumper on a, I think it's a 2-0 Magales monster hook. So I'm definitely gonna skin this because it's quite a big hook. To be honest, if it's just small fish here, yeah, I'm almost not interested. And this can be the case that uh, at times you can be fishing. Fish!
This is a good one. Gotcha. Was it? Yeah, it's a nice rash. I'll get some good footage of that from a different angle for you. Beautiful. Make sure we are. Yeah, I'll bet. You see, Mike's using. Uh, let's wait and see what he's using. He's fishing a Texas rig. Nice big head on him, that one, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be a really big fish, that is. Do you want me to hold your rod a minute? Oh, yeah, if you want mine. Yeah, yeah this makes it easier. Wow, that is a big bait you got there. Yeah. Big shadler there. Isn't it? Yeah. There we go. That'll be that one you missed the other day. You reckon? Yes, to be honest. Yeah. That's a good sized fish, I like that. Yeah. One more picture of them. Oh, it'll take a few, isn't it? This is some lovely colours on it. It's got a lot of blue spots on it, that fish. I'm that getting now. a bit closer as well. Mike's worked hard for that fish, I can tell you it's that. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It's a release shot. Uh, it's a five inch cane thumper in, um, I can never remember what the hell they call this. It's like a sort of baby bass colour. Watermelon, it? watermelon yeah. and yeah, baby bass. Um, with a glass bead and a bell. And the bell, the bell yeah. with the trick. Whether it made any difference or not, I have no idea. Good bite? Oh yes, I knew I had that. <laughs> Hit it on the paws or when you were uh, retrieving um, it? Pretty much so, yeah. yeah. Cracking fish. Almost shaking. <laughs> That's what oh, rice fishing does to you. They, a fish that bit. size really yeah, yeah. pulls. Yeah. There you go, a nice lazy wobble on that tail there. Yeah. I'll uh, get in a bit closer roll still. Well. And it just rose from side to side. There we go, maybe a shad's the way to go today. Oh, there's one. Go on, have it. Yeah, got one. I'm going to pull it a bit. There we go, we're into the... I'm a huge fish. Nice green fish they've got. Oh, sugar. Mess that up. So, I'm here with Mike from Lure Fishing for Ras today. And uh, he said conditions look perfect. And he's filming up. I think he's spot on because he's getting a few bites. It's a beautiful greenie there, not a big fish. I mean, only a pound and a half, something like that. But uh, he boom. Oh, that'd be a little, little fish. They don't have pull for the size of these fish. Let's do a little really shot. See him swim away. He stops splashing. There he goes, straight out. 